let's look at the six general practices of kanban i'll just give you a bird's eye view of these six general practices so manage flow is one of the six general practices of kanban you can see this is the third one so let's look at these uh, general practices because the first three general practices usually help you to manage your flow to make your smooth to make your flow much predictable much smoother and the last two practices will help you review and improve your flow so the so the first practice of kanban is visualize so what visualize means is that you have to visualize the way you are working whatever is your current process of working whatever are the workflow stages in your work you have to visualize them how do you visualize either you create swim lanes on the board physical board or you might use some kind of the digital software where you start putting in your workflow stages from start to end and look at from what all stages is the work moving so once you visualize you identify the risk the second general practice of kanban is limiting the work in progress so when you limit when you create wip limits in a system it creates a pull system pull system helps you unburden the people who are in, who are who are involved in delivering that particular work piece of work as again a push system push push system burdens the people so when you limit the wip when you create a pull system you only pull the work when there is a capacity available for pulling that work and you follow the agile concepts of stop starting and start finishing so finish the work that you have in hand first rather than starting the new one and keep it waiting you start looking at how will you generate value from the work that you are doing the third general practice of kanban is managing the flow you look at how your work moves as i said earlier and you have to make it smooth and predictable and there are various ways to look at the flow and to make it smooth and this is the topic of this particular webinar the flow management with kanban we'll look at it in more detail in uh, the few slide in the future slide the fourth policy general practice of kanban is make policies explicit so you set explicit policies that means you agree on certain rules uh, that will move the work from one stage to another stage for example your definition of ready when is your story or when is your feature ready to be moved to straight ready to move to starting development queue when will you call your development complete when will you start testing so these are all explicit policies the next general practice is implementing the feedback loop certainly it is a review in the meeting so you can you can only improve once you reflect back upon how you performed so implementing feedback loop is the fifth general practice of kanban and the sixth one is improve collaboratively and evolve experimentally so you find out the improvement areas based on certain based on the data that you have collected from the work that you have done and when you prioritize those improvement areas you prioritize them collaboratively within your team so these are the six general practices of kanban um, in a bird's eye view so when you implement all these six general practices of kanban they help you to increase the throughput and reduce the waste and once you reduce the waste you optimize your flow so shift your focus from people to work in the last slide you must have noticed i did not mention people anywhere it was only the work 
that was moving from one stage to another it is a work that you it is the work that you have to make busy don't make people busy unburden the people when you unburden the people they will be able to focus more on creating the value for your customer they will be more motivated and kanman helps you to unburden the people by limiting the wip by managing the flow so make your work busy